Hello everyone, it's Catrice here and I welcome you to this new video, this new episode of Library of Ruina. Last time we have cooked Greta in a rather easy fight that was sadly a bit uh, riddled by distractions for my personal self as I had some inconveniences happening. However, the fight itself was rather easy. I have not yet looked at her passives, so I will do it here now. Alright, Greta's page. Uh, prep up a main dish. When using a melee combat page, if, if target has bleed, offensive dice on a page gain 1 to 2 power. That's a good page for, uh, for our girl hog's floor. Not gonna lie. So far, these uh, uh, these pages also have great decks for the floor they are used for, which is nice. Well, today, the probably most meme uh, probably most meme floor is going to go ahead and try its best to fight against what I can only assume to be the musicians of Braven itself. Now. I'm still not sure about the Bayar page, even though it sounds pretty fun. I'm also not sure about uh, Max's page, which is the very funny Sword of Volition. Insanely funny Sword of Volition. But I'm very confident in my Kalo, Esther and PT to do the job they have been given. Now. I am ready for the reception of a floor of art. Let's go. Ooh, those are some interesting enemies for sure. Musicians of Bremen has some very strong dice, not gonna lie. The 12 12 die is definitely worrying. Okay, Triarchy. First three speed dice use, uh, use common pages that belong to the specific heads. Fair. From the top, every scene, one head becomes active. Each head uses different common pages. On certain scenes, use special common pages that inflict the target with tagged status effect that allows them to gain a copy of a common page after winning a clash against it. When staggered, the speed die that belongs to the current active head will break and the character will cover from stagger next scene. When all the heads are destroyed, the battle progresses to the next phase. There's only 60 stagger resist, so that's going to happen rather fast. And then there are these guys, Miss Mermaid, a regular, two regular puppets, and a gear worshipper. All right. Oh, also well, this carriage is very slow. But has a mass attack. Oh boy. Well, anyway, let's go.
제가 다시 한번 삶을 얻는다면 저도 예술을 해보고 싶어요. 이렇게 사서로서 예술의 층을 맞는 게 아니라 정말 자유롭게요. 그 빛을 다시 볼수 있다면 그러기 위해 용기를 내야 한다면 기꺼이요. 말은 쉽지만 정말 대단한 각오가 필요하죠. 그리고 제가 그 정도로 간절한 만큼 당신들도 그런 빛을 보았던 거겠죠? 그게 설령 뒤틀린 괴물일지라도 알았어요 진정해요 머리 울리니까 솔직히 말해서 당신들이 그러니까 그쪽 악단이 하려는 예술을 그다지 달갑게 받아들일 수는 없어요 마음 같아서는 당장 집어치우라고 하고 싶어요 하지만 남들처럼 나무라지는 못하겠어요 적어도 왜 그러는지 정도는 알수 있으니까 그리고 서로의 예술에 대해 뭐라고 할 자격 없다는 거잘 알아요 저도 그리 자랑스럽지 않고 그러니까 이런 식으로 부딪혀야 할 뿐이죠 네 시작해봐요 All right. Time for yet another fight. Uh, oh, that's mean. Because Creek is a very good card. We do start with a uh, guard, which is very good for me. We're gonna try to... Uh... Ooh, we could use this, but there's no big chance that it'll hit over. Oh, Celestial Spear will definitely win against Ney. I would be very shocked if it didn't. Do you have single? Uh, do you have singular strike? No, you don't. Ooh. Then you'll be getting almost no emotion points. Okay, you just go here. Powerful tendon cores. It's just tendon cores, but better. Uh, okay, that's already kind of awkward because we opened all single point stab. Let's draw a page. Saw volition. You can just use Dagger Press and Snake Spray. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't think Vapor will ever miss. Yikes. Really? You rolled an 11! Wasn't that the lowest roll you can do with that? <sighs> I remember I cannot roll good values.
Neither can I actually look at its at his status, Alan's. Or can I? Yeah, that's fucky. Uh Can you use that here? Ugh. And that there? Why do you have Serpent's Impact? Okay. Okay. No overcharge? Yes, sir. good we cannot win flashes we are legally unable to win flashes I gave you strength oh yeah too feeble legally unable to win flashes as I said Okay. Okay, you go here. Something else also needs to go there. Uh, you have to go here, actually. Oh, that's bad. Oh, yeah, you only have two costs in hand left. Good. In that case, I have to use this here. And confrontation here. You have 16 charge, so in that case you can still go and attack. Okay, if you roll to 19, that's fine.
That's actually good right now. Mainly because he was at low uh, resist. Okay, I need to somehow kill the puppets and shit, which is probably the hardest task. Just so we can completely redo all that. Another brace up, also there. You will probably die this turn. Yeah, but Bayar is not working at all. Okay. Nah. I actually want you to use that. You have seven light, eh? And of course, no zero cost in hand. Yikes. Okay. Not get staggered. Finally staggered. Big deeps, big deeps. Okay. Next phase has become. Can I be staggered starting with a second scene for the following mass attack? It's action. Very easy scenes. This is a mass attack when all resistance is changed to fatal next scene.
Okay. Automation will go here. So we'll brace up. Also, you gain strength. But you can't be staggered. Like, what's even the point of this, then? Man, it's the great rolls, whatever. Oh, well, let's use it fair, then. But I could keep it for the mass tech, actually. He has six strength. Which means the lowest we can roll is a seven on multi slash. Yeah, multi slash, let's go. And we'll have a priest grips literally anywhere. It's gonna be a ton of damage. Uh, focus fire, bio combat, and reload because I really want this guy to die. Celestial spear and somber procuration because I also really want this guy to die. And let's go. Twenty Yeah, but those he could roll was a seven, so it would have surprised me for sure. Also, mermaid is still alive. It's a mass individual, eh? We didn't redraw the one card we needed to redraw. Does it do anything? Play one paralysis. Yeah, gotta deal with that. Just to make sure it dies. Nah. Let's let's rather get an almost confirmed one. Even a multi slash would be better for us for us technically. Can you can you deal that much damage? Yeah, you definitely can. You go here with that. And you can still use something. It's a lot of the deeps. Okay, it bleed it did bleed to death, nice. 
This was important. Now we only have one enemy. Did you just get st staggered? I think you cannot get staggered. Universe of Vulnerability. Now it's time to deal deeps. We just use as many attacks as we can, really. There's one more attack we have to... Ugh. Okay, that's awkward. But you should be... Yeah, you should be actually able... 5 to 7... Wait, you have... Yeah, this, this is... Both of these rolls are higher. You do have 0 rolls, so let's burn... Oh, we can technically still stagger him, huh? Nothing this turn. You are getting attacked, but oh shit! Okay, that's actually bad. We can castigation this by like twelve. Okay, this might still hit, but.
Oh yeah, it restores all light. That's how it works. That's an awfully consistent page. We can technically still stagger him. Sometimes I do not know how this game operates, not gonna lie. Oh, it's already mass attack time, eh? I think Snake Slit is the best I have here. So is the gun. Then you go here. We only need to deal uh, very little stagger damage now. Which is a very big blessing. Also, he has six paralyzed on him. Oh boy. That's crippling. Let's go. Those were very low rolls, my man. Guess all your paralyzed went there. Maybe that paralyzed thing was just a bug. Uh, that stagger thing was just a bug, that's what I want to say. Well, this is likely to be the last turn. One string, which is not bad. Let's go in. <laughs> yeah, this fight's over. As I suspected, this is the last scene. That, that wasn't actually that bad. I got an achievement for that? Silence guest? Pretty sure I didn't get an achievement for the others. What did I do differently this time? Did I get an achievement for the others? Wait, let me look that up real quick. 
Because I am rather intrigued by that. Defeated guests suffering from burn, bleed, feeble, disarm, fragile, paralysis, and blood. Oh yeah! I did have all these. Okay. We just got silence guest on Brayman. Right, burn uh burn from Kahlo. Bleed from um Bleed from PT Fragile from Bayard Paralysis also from Kahlo Bind from uh from what's his face from our Esther and feeble in this arm from the abnormality page. <laughs> yeah, we actually had that. That's funny. Also, we got a lot of pages this time. Chorus and Rooster's, Rooster's Crow? Yeah, that's the lower layers done for sure. And now, if I'm not mistaken, our pages should actually open up again. Yep. Alright, uh, with, on it with melee combat page activate one of the following effects. Flake one feeble paralysis to stagger damage or recover to stagger. That's a really good skill. A really good skill. Holy, holy cow. A four cost? Hmm. I like it. Well. We have defeated the uh, musicians of Bremen and therefore we are now able to do the middle floors. Tiferet, Gebra and Shesed are looking for a fight and they are going to get it but not right now. Rather we continue the next episode of Library of Ruina. In between I will build up the decks this time without a live stream because this is all pre-recorded. Uh, this right now is recorded on the 18th on Wednesday when this will actually go up on Friday. Which, it, uh, the reason for that is mainly because I just want to pre-produce a little bit, but also because I will be not at home from Thursday to Saturday. So I will reproduce this episode, next episode, and probably even the one after that, which is hopefully also already Gabra's episode, which I'm very much looking forward to. So I will also have a chill day on Sunday, because I don't know how my, uh, how my health is going to be on Sunday regarding maybe getting inebriated. But apart from that, I hope you guys have a wonderful time. I will be getting busy building new decks and see you guys in the next episode of Library of Ruina. Bye-bye.